Today is an incredibly exciting day for Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Source 2 or Counter-Strike 2 has just been unveiled and I'm going to give you an in-depth look of all the new features and break down the improvements coming along with it. CS2 marks the largest technical leap forward in Counter-Strike history in a long time. It ensures that an influx of new features and updates for the oncoming years, with the majority of its features going to be revealed during the summer when it officially launches. Now this game is basically a free upgrade for for players of CSGO. So if you already own it or you've been playing it, you can just jump on this for free as soon as it drops sometime in the summer. But one thing to note is if you do have any VAC bans or source bans in the form of game bans related to CSGO, you won't be able to play on VAC servers in CS2 either. However, a limited test is currently underway for select CSGO players to evaluate its subset of new additions and iron out any of the issues before its worldwide release. Best of all, CS2 is going to be a free upgrade for all CS players. Smoke grenades in CS2 are going to be dynamic volumetric objects which interact with the surrounding environment, reacting to lighting, gunfire and explosions. This new system allows the smoke particles to interact with other gameplay events, creating all new strategic opportunities for dispersing smoke. Bullets and HE grenades can push the smoke to briefly clear sight lines or expand occlusion. Plus, smoke now fills up spaces more naturally, seeping out of open doorways and broken windows and moving up and down flights of stairs. This is going to change competitive play a lot and it's going to make it quite risky to throw out a smoke grenade when you know that people can actually fire through it. With a tick rate, what you see now is what you get. With CS2's new sub-tick update architecture, tick rate no longer matters when moving, shooting or throwing, which basically means that gameplay is equally responsive and nades always land the exact same way regardless of the server's tick rate. Basically in CS there's a static measurement in ticks in comparison to the response of the player's actions in game which greatly affects how the servers are. But in CS2 that's going to completely fix and change that. The visuals displayed by Valve in the footage explain this a lot better. Maps in CS2 are cleaner, brighter and better. There are three different types of map updates. Full overhauls which have been fully rebuilt from the ground up. Upgrade maps featuring new Source Engine 2 lighting and realistic materials, and Touchstone maps, classical maps with improvements to their lighting and character readability. The Source 2 tools and rendering features will be available for community map makers, making it easier for building, experimenting, and the iterations of custom map content. And players' entire CSGO inventories will be carried over to the CS2, so you'll keep your skins all whilst benefiting from the engine's lighting and material upgrades, with stock weapons received higher resolution model upgrades. All visual effects within Counter-Strike Source 2 have been reimagined, including water, explosions, fire, smoke, muzzle flashes, bullet traces and impact effects. Gameplay visuals have been redesigned for better readability, and the UI has received a complete overhaul, featuring fresh visual effects throughout the hood. The audio in Counter-Strike 2 has been reworked, rebalanced and reverbed to better reflect the surrounding physical environment be more distinct and express more game state, ensuring a more immersive and comfortable listening experience during gameplay. But this limited test only showcases a subset of the coming features of Counter-Strike 2, so that any major issues can be resolved before the summer's release. But the promise of much more to come and be revealed as more details are going to be shared. It's clear CS2 has innovative new features and enhancements and a lot of old school players will be dropping back in to practice their skills and build out their inventories for the upcoming summer release of CS2.0. Maybe I'll even return for a while to my days of Counter-Strike to check this one out because I'm pretty excited to mess around with a Source 2 engine, especially because I've been greatly excited for the sequel to Gary's Mod, which is going to be built on Source 2 as well. So what do you want to see from Counter-Strike 2, and are you excited about playing CS on the Source 2 engine, and will you be going back to play it? Let me know in the comments down below, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and consider watching these videos next.